This is Bob Barr bringing you another edition of Liberty Guards, Bob Barr's Laws of the Universe. Please remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow Liberty Guard on social media. Now to the law of the week. Comes to us uh, from the legislative arena, no surprise there. It's law number 81. And it's kind of long, so stick with us here for just a moment. Law number 81 tells us that when drafting a piece of legislation, Make sure you come up with a good acronym as a title for the bill, because more often than not, that's the only part people will read or remember. So to shorten that notion down, law number 81 tells us that when most people won't read the legislation anyway, particularly if it is more than a few sentences long. And secondly, if you have a catchy acronym, a catchy title, for a piece of legislation, that will go a long way toward one, getting it passed and getting public support for it, at least initially. Well, the most obvious example of this over the last number of years is sort of the USA Patriot Act passed shortly after the attacks of 9-11 in 2001. The USA Patriot Act is sort of the, the mother of all acronyms. I mean, I remember at the time, I was in the House at the time, and I remember seeing versions of this piece of legislation come over to us. I was on the Judiciary Committee, come over to us from the Justice Department. And the staff over at the Justice Department, working with some of the staff uh, in the Congress on the Judiciary Committee, they played around with, with various titles. And the purpose of them playing around with the title didn't have anything to do with substance. It just had to do with trying to come up with a title for which there could be a catchy acronym. And they did. They really did. They came up with the the mother of all acronyms, the USA Patriot Act, which stands for, yeah, get out your pen and paper here, uniting and strengthening America by providing appropriate tools required to intercept and obstruct terrorism. Anyway, you never have to worry about you know, that gobbledygook again. But the USA Patriot Act, because of its title, despite a lot of the damage that was contained in the bill in terms of abuse of government power used in subsequent years to diminish individual liberty, is all that people remember. They say, well, this thing is called the USA Patriot Act, so... If I support it or I vote for it, I'm patriotic. And if I don't, I'm going to be called unpatriotic. Anyway, there are a lot of other examples. Uh, for example, here's a here's a, a cute one, but uh, sort of cute, but no cigar. It, it didn't pass. The Sniper Act. The Sniper Act, which was considered in 2003 after the D.C. area snipers, uh, and they were caught eventually. Uh, I think one of them uh, uh, was uh, was uh, killed, um, and the other one I think was a minor. I don't know, but horrible people. But anyway, uh, during the uh, in in 2002, after 9/11, uh, in the Washington D.C. area, there were these two snipers that uh, just haphazardly run around and, and shot people. In response to that. The gun control crowd came up with what they call the Sniper Act, uh, which stands for So No Innocent Person Ever Repeats the Sniper Tragedy Act of 2001. Uh, It didn't go anywhere because it really had nothing to do with the terrorist acts themselves. It was simply uh, a piece of legislation that uh, the gun control people threw in there to uh, further their gun control agenda. But the Sniper Act uh, as the acronym, it's a good acronym, but it, it didn't go anywhere, which, which is good. Yeah, the, we have Obamacare. Now, Obamacare 
which was passed in 2010, President Obama's signature piece of legislation. It really is sort of the trifecta of cute acronyms and good titles. Uh, on the one hand, you have the uh, easy name for people to refer to it as Obamacare. Then you have the full acronym for the Patient Protection and Affordable Care Act, uh, PPACA. And then you have uh, what people often refer to it as uh, just the short acronym, ACA, the Affordable Care Act. So Obamacare is, is probably a very good example, not good legislation, certainly, uh, but uh, very clever the way they came up with the title. And then the Obamacare acronym or nickname, really, uh, sort of caught on. And even uh, Democrats use it from time to time. Uh, here we have another one that actually passed uh, in 2016. Uh, see if you can figure this one out. The title of the bill is the Sober Truth on Preventing Underage Drinking Act. Well, that turns into the acronym of the STOP Act, Sober Truth on Preventing Underage Drinking Act. It actually passed and was signed into law. Uh, there are other ones. One of the uh, the current ones that uh, that we have is the bipartisan infrastructure plan, uh, which uh, passed both houses. Uh, one of these massive, multi, well, more than one trillion dollar spending bills uh, that uh, Biden was pushing. Uh, the bipartisan infrastructure plan, which some people, including Nancy Pelosi, referred to as the BIP Act, which sounds kind of silly because it is kind of silly, the BIP Act, the Bipartisan Infrastructure Plan. There are a lot of these other things. Uh, the, the current one that uh, they're trying to get through the uh, Senate is the Build Back Better Act, the Triple B Act, I mean, whatever you want to call it. But I mean, almost all of these things, as a matter of fact, all of the, the ones that I you know talk about here, they're all bad pieces of legislation. But some of them pass and some of them uh, continue to have support simply because they had clever acronym titles. So the lesson here is pay close attention to what these folks in Washington are considering and pushing and trying to legislate and always look beyond the title, look beyond the acronym, because lurking in these pieces of legislation are really bad things that infringe individual liberty. That's why it's of concern to all of us here at Liberty Guard. Thank you for being with us and we'll look forward to being with you next time for another edition of Liberty Guard's Bob Barr's Laws of the Universe. This is Bob Barr and I'd like to thank you for having checked out our program here today. We appreciate your support, your participation and encourage you to go to libertyguard.org to learn more about our programs and also to help support to further individual freedom and fight against government abuse. One of the ways, but not the only way we do this is through Bob Barr's Laws of the Universe, but through many, many other programs in support of individual liberty and against government abuse. So please remember to join us. Go to libertyguard.org and join us once again for Bob Barr's Laws of the Universe. Thank you. My name is Matt Strickland. Liberty Guard saved my family business. I spent most of my adult life fighting for my country overseas. When I came home, I became a small business owner and sadly realized that nobody would fight for me. Our state and local government were trying to shut my family business down for good. And that's when I found Liberty Guard. With Liberty Guard's help, we won the battle against government overreach. And now my business is thriving and growing faster than ever. Stand with Matt and others just like you in the fight against government overreach. Join Liberty Guard today.